Hi everyone, my name is Dana and welcome back to Case Place. So, if you're new, welcome. If you're one of my current subscribers, then thank you for joining in again. And it's so glad to see you after Christmas. I have been extremely sick. I thought before Christmas that I had gotten over my cold and I was severely mistaken. I spent most of Christmas in bed and probably the next few days afterwards in bed. I finally got a hold of some really good antibiotics and am feeling much better. So, <clears throat> sorry I've been MIA for a while and I know that I have a package I was supposed to mail out and I am so sorry that that hasn't gotten out to who it was supposed to get out to. I will take care of that tomorrow or probably Monday. Tuesday. Monday's a holiday. Probably Tuesday. Sorry it hasn't gotten to you yet. I'm sure the person knows who she is. I will email you today, tonight. Um, but I was so, so sick. I, I literally couldn't even cook Christmas dinner. It was horrible. My child had a wonderful Christmas. We had a nice Christmas. I was just extremely sick. So, with that being said, let me get into, I have a piece of friend mail, two actually, that I'd like to share with you guys. One I got right before Christmas, and the other one I just got yesterday, or today. Today, yesterday, yesterday. And I still wasn't quite feeling well yesterday, and today I woke up and I was feeling so much better that I went and had lunch with one of my very dear friends, because we exchange Christmas presents every year. And so I went and had lunch with her. And we went to the Dollar Tree and did some shopping and um, had lunch. So I'm going to stop yakking and I'm going to show you what she sent me, what my friend here on YouTube sent me. Um, she's also a subscriber. So Holly had sent me a present before Christmas and then she sent me a present after Christmas. So I'm going to show you what Holly sent me. So I had complained that I couldn't find any of the Bolero products. She always decorates my packages up so pretty for me. So Holly had sent me some of the Bolero apple and cinnamon soap. Because I like bar soap because I find it doesn't dry my skin out as bad. And then she also sent me some of the apple and cinnamon body cream moisturizing body cream and this is a 3.5 fluid ounce container and i think the bar soap is seven ounces yep and then she sent me oh, i'm sorry she sent me two bars of soap this smells so good and then she sent me, oh, and there's two things of lotion down in here. So there's another thing of the lotion. And then there is a little little note that I'll read off camera. And then I know that her daughter Mia watches my youtube channel videos with her mom all the time and so it says have a lovely day miss dana love mia xoxo is that not the cutest picture this mia is very little but is that not adorable i love pictures it's got a little heart on the back so i'll have to put that with the pictures my kids drew me so hold on just a second guys Sorry about that guys, had to, my puppy dogs were running wild through the house, so I had to go corral them. So, and then I received this other huge box in the mail yesterday. Put on the table. And I had been looking for a couple of the big coloring books when they came out at DT. And at first I had a really hard time finding them, sorry about that. So. She had sent me a couple of these coloring books. And this one's called Petals, Patterns, and Doodles. I love they put a little $1 sticker on there. I'm like, really? I don't know who, I guess they did that at the other store where it came from. But this one's got some really great pictures on it. I didn't even see this book at our Dollar Tree. Oh, what a great book. And it's got the one-sided pictures. I really like that one. And then this one here is called Color Your World. 
And it's got the one-sided pictures as well. You know, it's got a pretty parrot in it. pretty pictures of them. It's a bear. That's neat. So, we've got some really gorgeous pictures in there. And then, I had looked absolutely everywhere for this e.l.f. hydrating gel melt cleanser and could not find it anywhere. And so, Miss Holly sent me some. It is a 1.41 ounce. We never got any of this. I even asked the managers at my DT, and we never got any. So I don't know what was up with that. And then she found me the Biscolata lemon and white chocolate cookies and sent those to me so I could try them. I love lemon, and I am love, love, love white chocolate. If I can choose a white chocolate over milk chocolate, it is white chocolate every time. I'm so excited to try those. And then apparently she found me some planner stickers. And these will come in handy as I just got a new planner for Christmas from the hubby. And these are, there are 216 stickers in here. And they're from Greenbrier. This is from the planner line that we also never got here in Louisville. We never got these, this whole line of stickers and the planners and stuff. We never got these. So I was really happy to see these in there. So, thank you, Miss Holly and Miss Mia. I'm not going to try to put those back in there because I will mess them up. I'm just going to sit them back here on the back. Back there on the back chair. So, now let's get into what I found at the Dollar Tree when I went. I found several new items and several seasonal items. So, I'm going to get right into those and show you what I got. So, we always have leftovers and I absolutely hate the fact that sometimes they don't get eaten and then not only do I have bad food in my refrigerator but then I have bad food in a container that I have to clean out. Ooh. Grosses me completely out. So I found these six inch foam containers and there are 16 of them in each package. So they're just like the containers that you get, the small containers that you get at the takeout restaurant. So I purchased two packages of those because I figured those were perfect single serve vessels for the fridge. I could package up single serves, servings of things and put them in our refrigerator and people could get in there and just pull out a single serving of something like red beans and rice or meatloaf and mashed potatoes or whatever and heat it up or get it out and put it on a plate and heat it up because you don't want to heat up styrofoam in your microwave oven and eat it and then throw it away. A little bit less mess for me. So, I did find the blue ones. I'd love to find the purple ones as purple is my favorite color. I have the cream colored ones. These are the take it to go cups. I love these cups to drink coffee out of, hot tea. They're even really great. Um, to drink um I like to drink milk at night before I go to bed <laughs> and these are even great just to put a little bit of milk in to drink at night so it's not just good for hot stuff it works really well for cold things too so the seal is really good on these lids so they work great for hot chocolate warm tea whatever you want to put in here these are also great for um gifts I've given a couple of these away and I've stuffed them full of biscotti and instant cocoa or biscotti and instant coffee packets or hot tea. So these are great gift ideas. So just as like a friendship kind of gift, like, hey, thanks for what you did for me. So I picked one of these up. I've never purchased these before, but I was in need of one. These are the Essentials Mesh Laundry Bags. They're 15 in, 12 inches by 15 inches, and they're a three count. I bought a Christmas sweater, and it's got all these jingle bells all over it. And so I was worried about washing it, 
So I wanted to get a laundry bag to put it in so I made sure it didn't get hung up on anything in my washing machine. So even though I don't have an agitator in my washer, there are still little things in there it can get hung up on. So I wanted to pick up some of these. And I, like I said, I had some things to mail out. Uh, so sorry. I feel so bad. So I picked up two of the um, six by nine. I think that's what these are. Yeah, six by nine bubble wrap mailers. I think I'm gonna have to find something extra special to include with what I have to mail out to this particular person because I feel horrible. So, on to bag number two. Honey buns. These aren't the iced honey buns this time. These are just the regular glazed honey buns. And these have an expiration date of February the 12th of 2018. And these are a five ounce honey bun. And I believe I picked up five of these for him. As we all know, my hubby loves him some honey buns. One, two, three. Four, yeah, five all together. So I have a funny story to tell you guys while I'm sorting through these honey buns. While I was in the Dollar Tree, I went to two today. But while I was in the Dollar Tree, there was a lady in front of me checking out. Biggest Dollar Tree order I have ever seen. This woman had 196 items and I was running late. Mm. 196 items and she wanted to pay with cash and all she had were fives and ones and she wanted to pay with exact change i'm patient but i'm by no means perfect but i'm not that patient I, mm. <laughs> but i was nice i maintained my composure y'all have been proud of me oh so I picked up some of these buzzy, I saw um, Nicole Burgess haul these, and I do like to garden, but sometimes I don't get them started quite early enough, and I thought maybe this would be a good way for me to start them early enough, I could start them in the house. So I picked up some of these buzzy um, grow kits, and this is the tomato grow kit. So I picked up the tomato, because I love me some tomatoes, the strawberry, my favorite fruit and the sweet basil grow kit because I love me some basil. And these each contain one plastic pot, one seed packet, and one growing medium pellet. So we'll see how that goes. I bought, I bought three of them. That was all, they didn't have any other fruits or vegetables, just the tomatoes and the strawberries. And the basil was the only um, herb that they had at my DT. They had lots of flowers, though. And then I found some... Told you, this is all over the place because I'm just digging through the bags for you guys. I found some Cura Ouchless Tape. I have very sensitive skin. So some of the, um, paper, the plastic tape really irritates my skin. And so does the paper tape sometimes. But this stuff works wonders. So this is one roll, it's one inch by 2.3 yards of ouchless tape. It's perfect for hard to tape areas. It sticks to itself and not your skin or hair. So I know from experience that this stuff usually sells for three to four dollars a roll, generally. Especially if you buy it at like Walgreens. So I picked up, there weren't but like six rolls and I, I didn't take all they had, but I did buy three. So I could stock up. So, and if you've been watching my channel for any time at all, you know that my husband loves duckies. And they had their Easter stuff out. And I bought him a little ducky to paint. He'll probably never paint it. It'll probably sit on a shelf just like this. But he may. So I bought him a little Easter ducky to paint. And it's like a little ornament. He's got a little hanger hanging from the top there. And they had other designs of these little paintable things. And I did take a picture that I'll enclose at the end of the video. And they had a bunch of their um, burlap ribbon out. And I did get two of the chevron design. There's one, there's the other one's floating around somewhere. 
And I got two of the white polka dot. I think the other one must have fallen out in the truck because it would have been in that bag. So. Then they had all their Christmas things on sale, 50% off. So I did pick up some. These are by Christmas House, and there's a hundred count of self adhesive gift tags. So I picked up this package of gift tags. I did, like I said, meet my friend for our gift exchange, and I needed a small bag. So I already used the other bag. This was a two pack of Christmas bags. So I'll have this one for next year. It's got a cute little side. The other one was a full picture of Santa's face. And let me show you the other Christmas things I got, the other Christmas bags I picked up. We'll just keep going on along that theme. I picked this little brown paper one up. It's got the, this is Let It Snow, and it's got the penguin on it, and then a couple of penguin here. And I think the side is, yeah, just some blue and white stripes. So I've got that put back for next year. I did not see these at Christmas time, however. This one's a real pretty foily, shiny foil. And it's got Santa checking his list. And it's the season's greetings on the tag. And the side is just a Christmas tree, like with ornaments on it. And that's that real pretty shiny side. And then this one's just regular shiny. And then I found another one like that, or along those same lines. So this is just plain old shiny. And it's just Santa with a stack of toys. And then it's a plaid on the side. So I figured for 50 cents a piece, you couldn't really beat it. This one just says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And it is just a repeat. It's got some lines and candy canes down the side with a plaid at the top. And then this one says, Be Merry. And it's got the little pop-out thing on the front right here. And on the back, it's just a printed on the bag. And then I really liked this one. It says, Merry Christmas. And it's all glittery on the front. And on the back, it's just like this. And the side of the bag is just the same as the front. And then I picked up another one of the trucks with the, with the snowman and the trees, and then the side of that is just the trees with the snow. So those will go and get packed away with all of my Christmas stuff for next year so that we have those. So we use these. I do not have small children in my house, but this is so much cheaper than buying them at Walgreens or even Walmart or Kroger's just to pay a buck for the 36 cups. So my son likes them anyway. So my husband, to be honest. <laughs> so I buy the Cars Little Bathroom Cups. And these are, does it say? It says Green Briar, but I am pretty sure these are Dixie Cups. It says Peachtree Playthings. But I'm telling you, looking at them, they remind me. If you put them next to the Dixie brand cups, they look exactly the same. So there are 36 of these little cups in here, bathroom cups, and I bought three boxes of these because I haven't seen them in a while and we were completely out. So I bought three boxes to put up. And then I saw this. This is the Acme International Cupcake Batter and Cupcake Batter Spreader and Filler and Spreader. So it's a little thing to make sure you get the exact amount of cupcake batter in your cupcake wells each time and then a little frosting spreader so i picked that up because i thought that was kind of a unique little kitchen gadget and it'll help when i have christopher in the kitchen cooking with me so if you have small children who cook with you or or kids who are learning how to cook these would be a great little tool to have in the kitchen to help make sure their cupcakes or muffins or whatever come out pretty uniform or that you get the right amount of cupcakes out of your cake mix. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it did have the little grocery tag hanging up above and I did take a picture of that. I think it was $2.39 or $2.49 is what these retailed for at the grocery stores when they sold them. 
And then I found some of the Palmer's SPF 15 Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Lip Balms. I picked two of those up, you know, because you can never have enough lip balm. Chapstick. Oh, actually, I picked up three of those, it looks like. That's nothing. Just something that happened to fall in the bag. Then I found the heart wreath forms for Valentine's Day. So I picked up two of those. Um, yeah, let me see here. Before I get into that bag. I did pick up this dry erase magnet planner. It's a weekly plan. I wanted to put this on my refrigerator upstairs so that everybody in the house knows when somebody has a doctor's appointment or where we're going to be so that they're, you know, everybody doesn't have to call around and go, hey, where are you at this morning? Or where's so-and-so? That way we all know what's going on in the house when. So I picked that up. Oops, sorry, but that didn't mean to shake you guys. I did pick up a couple of different stickers. I picked up some of these little, um, Jewel stickers. These are by Jot and they're flowers. I believe this is kind of an orangish red. I can't quite make it out. It's not quite red to me. I think it's orange. So, but there's 25 of them. They're little flowers. And these are the same thing. They're little flowers and these are purple. Sorry about that glare, guys. And these are the clear ones which I was really impressed to find because I never seen anything clear at my DT. And these are the hot pink ones. So then I picked up some more of the Jot stickers. These are the um, word stickers and these are the ones for um, happy birthday and special occasions, wish you well. It says special day, wish party, happy birthday, make a wish, good times, cheers, surprise, fun, and celebrate. And it's got some balloons on it. And then this one says, it's all about you. It's got a crown, enjoy, fun, celebrate, surprise, make a wish, wish, happy, and good times on it. I really like those words. This would be great for cards. And then this one says, baby, welcome to the world, little one. Precious baby, congratulations. There's a little music note, little star. There's some flowers, um, girls, boys, lovely, teeny tiny, and another music note. So those are really cute. And then I picked up the owls and the tree. I can't remember if I have this one or not, but I really like the fact that this whole thing is a pop-up sticker. There are 10 pieces in this whole thing. And I really like those owls. And then I picked up these pop-ups. There are 19 in here. And these are just some springtime little critters. Like bees and ladybugs and caterpillars and butterflies, mushrooms. It's all kinds of little springy things. It just reminded me of spring. And right now I'm freezing to death because it's like 15 degrees here. So anything that will remind me of spring, I am all about. So like I said, it's freezing here. So then, holiday stuff. I did find some Valentine's Day stickers. I found these. These are some shaker stickers. It says, I only have eyes for you. Happy Valentine's Day. There's a monkey. There's conversation hearts. Beep, bop. And another one. This one says, cute. Beep, bop, cute. Um, bananas over you. Love and sweet. But they're little shakers. This is adorable. That's hard to see. But there's 12 of them in there. I just thought this was so cute. And then I picked up, um, there are 32 of the foam 
heart stickers in here. They range from size from small to medium to large. And then I picked up two packages of this one, and there are 32 in each one of these, and they range from small to medium to large, and there are pink and red hearts, and there are different varieties in there. So, got those. Then I picked up some... They call it table scatter, but I've got those little uh, mason jar candle holders, and I thought this would really look cute in the bottom of them for Valentine's Day. So I got two of the red, and there are 50 pieces in each one. So I got two of the red ones, and then I got two of the pink ones. I thought those were really cute. I thought I could mix the pink and the red and put them in the bottom of those mason jar cups or in a candle holder, whatever. I sort of look cute sitting out. And then I got this really adorable Valentine's Day sign with burlap. It says Happy Valentine's Day. Thought that was really cute. And then for my cute Easter sign, I just love this one. It's so adorable. I could not pass it up. It says welcome, and it's got the bunnies with the little cotton tails. Is that not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? So, that was my Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, that was two Dollar Trees, maybe three. Some of it I've had a little before Christmas because I uh, was sick. So, But that's what I picked up. So, you have to let me know in the comments below if there was any of that that looked appealing or anything you've been looking for, if that's on your wish list items. So, um, I do have lots and lots of pictures of Easter stuff and Valentine's Day stuff and things that I just didn't buy, but lots and lots of stuff that was at the DT that I just didn't get. So, that I'll put at the end of this video for you guys so you all can see it, what's out there. So... With that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I have got uh, another video that I'm going to upload. I picked up some things from Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning. And I'll show you guys what those things are. So, with that being said, if you are currently subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. It does mean the world to me. You all are like just like a family to me. You mean so much to me, each and every one of you. And for those of you who aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that button below. Hit that subscribe button. Join our little family. It's growing each and every day, and I am so thankful for you all for that. I really, truly am. And if you hit that subscribe button, when that little bell pops up, make sure you hit that notification bell, and it'll notify you each and every time that I have a new video that uploads. So, with that being said, I am going to hop off here and go have me some dinner. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night, and I will see you all later, hopefully before the new year, definitely later tonight. So you guys have a great night. Bye.